Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Championship Predictions. Um, obviously no Championship football just happened this previous weekend. It's not a full fixture but still quite a few games left to be played in the Championship for Tuesday. So that's the games we're going to talk about. Um, but guys this video is sponsored by LOL T-shirt company. Uh, I sell my merch, the link for my, my merch is down in the description below. So go and check it out after watching this video and it's down there with all my other social media links. Um, so guys feel free to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, follow me on Instagram, you know, it's all up to you. Um, but anyway, still a lot to talk about. So guys, anyway, you know what I do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Blackburn versus Queen's Park Rangers. Um, Queen's Park Rangers are currently in 14th place, 38 points, winning two out of the last five, uh, with a minus five goal difference. Uh, so, you know, not the best goal difference, but don't no, it's not the worst either. So, you know, being in the minuses ain't the best place to be. I'm going up against the OK Blackburn side. Uh, Currently sitting in 11th with 40 points and only one win in the last five. I think that with this game, I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Brentford versus Nottingham Forest. Brentford are currently in fifth with 47 points, winning three out of the last five. Um, Nottingham Forest currently in fourth with three wins out of the last five and not lost in the last five. It's so tight at the top now between um, sixth and first, it's seven points. Um, between Fulham in third and Leeds in second, it's three points. So, you know, it's a really hard pattern that follows in this division. Um, you know, I'm looking at West Brom's record here. They've not won a game in their last five. You've got Leeds who have lost two uh, two out of their last three games. It's so tight at this time of year. But this way it gets decided from a spectator's point of view. Um, anyway, back to the Brentford and Nottingham Forest game. I think this game's going to be quite tight. Um, pure to the fact of how tight it is in the table. Um, Nottingham Forest only sitting in fourth by a point. I'm going to go for another draw and I'm going to go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Cardiff City versus West Bromwich Albion. Um, West Bromwich Albion did beat West Ham in the FA Cup this previous weekend, just gone. Well done, West Brom. Um, I'll put you down to do our thinking. You know, I think the FA Cup, it does take over, you know, points in the league, if you know what I mean. I mean, if you look at, I don't know, um, Brighton's record last season, you know, nearly relegated Brighton. Um, so, you know, it does overtake the league sort of thing. Um, but West Brom probably sitting top. with a point more than Leeds on 53 points. Going up against a Cardiff City side, who are currently in 13th for 39 points. This game, as I said, I think it's going to be an interesting game, but I'm going to go for a bit of an upset, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Cardiff City win. My next one is Hull City versus Huddersfield. Um, let's start off with Huddersfield. Uh, currently on 29 points, not one in their last five. Um, Hull are currently in 12th, 39 points, and only won one game in the last three. So both teams are going to be very similar sort of stats for this one. But I'm going to go for a Hull win, and I'm going to go for a 1 0 Hull win. My next one is Leeds versus Millwall. 
Um, always a tasty affair this game is. Um, Leeds currently is second, not winning in their last three. Um, but they have won one game in their last five. Um, looking at Millwall, currently in eighth with 44 points and not lost a game in their last five. So, you know, the confidence sway of things is much sitting on Millwall's side. I'm going to go for a Millwall win and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Millwall win. My next one is Luton Town versus Derby County. Um, Derby County currently in 16th position, 37 points. Uh, Luton currently bottom of the league with 21 points. Um, and Eight points out out of the safety zone. This game, I think it's only going to be one-sided, and I'm going to go for a two-nil derby win. My next one is Wigan Athletic versus Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday have made it through to the next round of the FA Cup after knocking out QPR. Um, but Sheffield Wednesday's league's form don't look too good. Only winning one game out of their last five and losing the other four. Um, Sheffield Wednesday have got currently on 42 points. Um, Wigan, you know, only winning one out of their last five with 23 points and six points off the safety. So they still got a lot of work to do. Um, how, I'm going to go for a draw and I'm gonna go for a one all scoreline for that one. My last one for the midweeks is Reading versus Bristol City. Um Reading currently in fifteenth winning only winning two games out of their last five. Bristol City currently sitting in ninth winning three out of the last five um, and winning two on the bounce back to back. So the confidence is much more with Bristol City this weekend or midweek games. Um, so I'm going to go for, because Reading do play well at home, I'm going to go for a draw. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 two -two scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what Digger is about. Big fun, hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for them.